Creating a decal type. Before we can actually insert a detail, we have to create the decal type. So we're going to go up into our Insert tab. And over here in Decal, we have a down arrow. And we want to go to Decal Types. And uh, so in the type, we say, uh, OK, let's create a new decal. So I'll click on the New Decal button. I'll give it a name. And I'm going to call this one, uh, say, Monet. Cliff walk painting. So I'm creating some paintings I'm going to hang in the living room. And if I'm going to have some paintings, I might as well go with the masters uh, of Impressionism. And so I'll say OK. And now I come over here to my source and I click on the ellipse button. I'm going to go out and find where I read, you know, and I went out to the internet. I found an image, I right clicked and it save image as, or I hit the print screen button on my keyboard and I captured whatever was on my screen. And I put those in a folder called decals. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go with the cliff walk. Notice I'm using a PNG. I can use a bump, JPEG, JPEG, PNG, or TIFF. A JPEG is good at small file size but a PNG has a higher quality uh, to it. So if you look at my uh, JPEG, it's only 11 uh, kilobytes is where my PNGs are higher quality. So if you really want a good image, you want to use a PNG. So I'll say open, and now I pick the file that I want to be in there. Um, and uh, I can control the brightness here. So if I need it to be brighter, how much light reflects off of the painting. So the painting doesn't generally reflect. Transparency, how much I can see through this particular painting. Uh, I can't. A finish, uh, we have the gloss, the matte. Well, if it's a painting, it's usually a matte. Uh, you know, it's on canvas. Uh, luminance, and this means how much light does the painting give off? Does it have its own light source? Like a television has its own light source. A, uh, a smartphone has its own light source. But a painting doesn't give off its own light. A bump pattern. We could put a texture underneath to give it some, some bumpiness to it. And yeah, technically a painting has a little bit of bumpiness, but we're not going to worry about that. And we could have put how much bump it is, how much you know humps and bumps there is in it. A cutouts is when some part of the image gets blocked off, like a checkerboard. And so I could hide certain parts of the image, but like put a checkerboard pattern over it, wouldn't be able to see it. And then I can say OK. And so let's do that again. I'm coming up in place of decal. And I'll, I'll make another one here. And I'm going to put another painting in here. I'm going to say this one's Van Gogh. And, uh, and Van Gogh is the bedroom. Very famous, world famous uh, painting. Uh, and I got to spell paint, painting. And I'll say OK. And I'm going to go click on my source. And I'm going to go with the Van Gogh. I'll say open. And I'm going to keep everything basically the same here. And I'll say OK. I'll say OK. Uh, and let's put a couple more in here. I want to put, uh, well, I'll put one more painting while I'm on it, on it here. And I'm going to put some signage. So this one, I'm going to call this one a um, Renoir, another one of the masters uh, in Impressionism. And Renoir was going to be Two Sisters, is the name of the famous painting. And these are all found in your uh, Art Institute of Chicago, downtown. Uh, uh, and I'll say OK. And I'll pick on the source. And I'll go with Renoir. Also, we tend to do, uh, I'll say OK. And I'm going to come back in and I'm going to put some signage. Now signage could be lit, etc. If we're going to have like a big bulletin board on the outside, a big uh, billboard type of thing. So I'm going to come in here and uh, I'll put some signage in. And it could be like a no smoking sign. It could be a, a company logo. I'm going to put KCC a logo. And, uh, and I'll go signage. All right? And I'm going to say OK. And whoop, I want to go back to that. Um, 
I need to go over here and pick the source of that. I got a little ahead of myself there. Say so, okay. And there's my KC uh, logo. And I'm going to put some reflectivity off of this thing. I'm going to put 20%. Uh, I'm going to put some, uh, you know, some, uh, oh, let me see. How much we'll put on there? Uh, we'll put like a frosted bulb or uh, like a television screen type of illuminance there. Uh, and, uh, and we'll say, okay. And now, uh, we have created a variety of decal types. Uh, if uh, I can also put like a no smoking sign that's lit up, etc. But I have a handful already defined, and it's in my project now. So when I go to my decal types, here they are. I can come over here, pick on them. I can hit delete. I can come over here and rename them and I can duplicate it and then make some changes. I could have one lit, not lit, for example, and then some of my settings would be copied. Um, so now we're about ready to place our decal in our building.